Peace. Naturally run your beautiful people. We out here at the park. Look, I want to talk about autism and our black boys, our young kings. Hey, pull up. I gotta bring my babies to the park every day. If they not at the park every day, they gotta play outside every day. They gotta do something, you know? And with the weather being nice, the way it is right now, we gotta take advantage. <laughs> we gotta take advantage of this outside. Get out in nature as much as possible, you know? Uh. I want to talk about autism, ADHD, ADD, all that this stuff under the autism umbrella. You know, all these, um, all these, um, uh -oh. Look, I'm about to all these different, um, disorders that they diagnose our, our young babies with, uh, young men with. You know, a lot of our young kings, they have a lot of energy, a lot of excess energy. But it's not to their fault, you know, it's just natural. But then what we're doing is allowing other people to put them on medication, to tell them that, that they are different, that they're, that they're not where they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Um, my babies got a lot of energy. They got a lot of energy. So trying to make them sit down in front of a screen for eight hours is not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna end up losing my mind. <laughs> so this is some of the things that we was working through last week. We were trying to work through, just trying to get them focused and motivated. But getting them motivated and getting them focused is not going to happen by them sitting behind the screen just continuously you know working behind the screen they have to get out they have to get out and play they gotta expel that energy so every morning i make them run i run around the house then around lunchtime, i have to bring them outside to do something else so if they not riding a bike if they not you know um doing the trampoline at the, in the, inside the house. Then we have to come to the park. We have to do pull-ups. We have to do something to exert that energy, you know? So right now, we're doing a little upper body work. They're supposed to be doing pull-ups. But um, I just wanted to talk to you all about uh, ADD, ADHD, autism, all these little titles and stuff, these little disorders that our young kings get titled with. I want to know from you all, from, from your perspective, I had a lot of um, mothers, fathers, you know, parents that's, that's um, on my Facebook, that's linking with me, connecting with me. So talk with me, chat with me, comment below. Have your child, if it, has, has a doctor diagnosed your child with autism? Did you decide to go with the medication? Because my oldest was told that he had autism because of the nail biting. Um, yeah, he, he do bite his nails, um, not as bad as he did when he was younger, maybe like fourth grade, even eighth grade now, but I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I wanted him to take medication because of it, because he's biting his nails. I didn't want to put him on the medication. I didn't want to stifle his natural personality you know the the natural things that's in him i felt like medication would kind of slow him down and 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 prevent him from being the person that he is you know nobody wants to take medication and then they're in this stuck state you know you just zoned out and you know you have no you're not coherent to what's going on around you you know smiles, laughs, dancing, you know, singing, those type of things is just natural. You want those to just naturally flow out of you when you hear music or you hear something that, that resonates with you. You know, you don't want to uh, put your child on a medication and then they're sitting down, they're sitting down like all day. 
they're not they're not want they're not they're not even wanting to play they're not even exploring they're not doing anything like children normally do you know i don't want to take, say, put my child on medication and make him um mentally disabled you know mentally challenged because that's what it, it seems like a lot of the medications slow our children down so you know it's okay it's all right to have all that energy. I got a lot of energy. I can't be still. So I probably got ADD, ADHD up under that umbrella somewhere. Autism, you know what I mean? I used to make my um, Fs. My Fs, I always made my Fs backwards. Always, always, my whole entire life. Like I knew it was backwards, but I always made it backwards. And so some things that we do as black people don't beat yourself down about it please take it from Kariah, the zombie slayer look life is too beautiful to to not embrace your natural you know now natural skills your natural talents even your natural flaws embrace them embrace it you know embrace it let me show y'all what they embrace your natural flaws you know we all have them we all have things that we are not proud of, that we working toward, we're building toward. So get out in nature, <laughs> get the babies out in nature so we can explore this beautiful land. Cause it's our land, this land is your land. Y'all remember that? This land is my land. <laughs> all right, so it's a little nip in the air. No nip in the air, but I'm finna get my pull up on. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on the pull ups, trying to get that uh, uh upper body. You know, trying to get that upper body strength. I want to be able to lift my own weight. So, if you got babies, get them babies out. Get them moving around. Don't just pop them pills. Get them babies popping pills already. <laughs> Early. Got them started popping pills early. I mean, y'all can listen to the doctors if y'all want to. I say get a second, third, fourth opinion. Get as many opinions as you want to, as you can, you know. As many opinions as you can. Don't let these doctors just pump your babies with all this medication telling them. You know, and I'm not, this is a disclaimer. Look, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. But I have three boys. I'm a mother of three boys. And I know what I want for my babies. And I know all our young kings cannot have autism. You know, all our young kids cannot have ADHD, ADD, all that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have something. And if we do, and if it is true that we do, it's natural. It's just natural. It's a natural energy. Why does it have to be stifled? Why does it have to be looked upon like it's bad? It's not bad. It's not a bad thing to have natural energy. That means that you have a skill or a talent that you need to embrace. You know, my baby can play football. He can go hard. How do you think them football players have that energy to go full on? Like, keep going throughout the whole game you know what i mean that energy is natural they don't i mean well i don't know some of them might be popping some steroids or whatever take some energy drinks or whatever energy shots whatever espresso i don't know whatever they need to do what they need but a lot of our young men just naturally have a lot of energy I can't sit still. Even if I'm in the house, it's so hard for me to just sit still, all right? So, embrace, embrace, all right? Embrace. Take these babies out, get them out, get them as active as possible. I will take my babies out three. Y'all, and people know around here, me and my babies will be up at the village hall, nine, 10 o'clock at night. If I feel like they need to get out again and do something, before so that they can be tired so that they can get it when they go in the house take their showers take their baths whatever and relax so i need to burn them you know what i'm saying i need to work them and that's what i'm gonna do all right so as mothers we know what our babies need and i want to apologize i do want to apologize to some of my fans i was ranting and raving and bitching and moaning excuse my language but i was i was high i was coming i was going through some stuff last week all right i really was i truly was i was going through some stuff so i appreciate y'all being here with me on this journey working with me 
you know, it's a journey. I'm a work in progress, all right? Peace, love, and compassion as always. Be royal, love, royal, live royal. Take care of them babies. Look, we got we got so much, so many ideas, so much to so much to do. So much to do here, all right? So it's time for us to embrace our natural abilities and and let these babies grow. All right. We can't keep listening to everybody you know about our children we know our children the best and as mothers i would really love for us to come together my parents i'm just say parents i would really love for us to come together and talk about these things so that we all can be on the same page you know what i mean oh peace love and compassion y'all comment below if y'all want to link with me build with me this is the place. This is our kingdom right here. All right? We're going to eventually get this thousand subscribers so we can do this panel. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. All right? Link up. We, this is Parents United. All right? We're getting it, getting it together. We all uh, have room for improvement. So that's what we're doing here. we learning and we're growing together. Naturally. Naturally royal. Love y'all. Peace.